Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to show you how to make a really cute thank you card with the help of your Big Shot. I'm going to be using the Sheltering Tree stamp set for the images on the front of my card. My card base is going to be Early Espresso. I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half, scored it at the four and a quarter mark. That's going to be my card base. And to that, I'm going to add a layer of very vanilla. I'll have the measurements over on my blog, so after the video is over, you can hop on over there and get the measurements and a list of supplies and a link to place an order if you so wish. So I'm going to add a phrase to my card front first. It's the thankful for you stamp. And I've inked it up using Early Espresso ink. And that's, oh, I'm gonna leave that for now. Then the next thing I'm going to do is take the tree image from the Sheltering Tree stamp set. And I'm going to ink that up using Early Espresso. And I'm going to stamp it down like so on the front of my card. And then I have a scrap piece of Very Vanilla and I'm going to ink this image again and I'm going to stamp it down on there. And then I'm just going to peel off that stamp for now. And then I'm going to bring in the leaf image from the stamp set. And I'm going to bring in three Stampin' Write markers. I have Daffodil Delight, I have Always Artichoke, and Pumpkin Pie. And I'm going to start with the lightest color, and I'm just going to randomly color some of the leaves on this stamp. And then I'm going to use the Pumpkin Pie. So what I'm trying to do is show that the leaves are starting to change. And by doing that, I'm using the three different colors. And then I'm going to use the rest for the Always Artichoke. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. And then I'm going to huff on it using my breath. And I'm going to stamp over top. This is on my scrap piece, like so. And then I'm going to clean the stamp and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to ink it up with my markers. I'll be right back. I have finished inking up my stamp a second time. I'm going to blow on it or huff on it as well. And then I'm going to stamp it down on the card front that I'm going to use as a, as a layer, like so. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my Big Shot and I am going to, I've got my magnetic platform, my bottom standard cutting pad, and then I've got one of the Banners Framelits. I'm actually going to use a smaller one and I'm going to cut this layer like so that will be like a banner piece. I'm going to die cut a banner of the stamped image that I've got. So there we go. So I've got that ready to go. And then I'm going to die cut a second banner piece. For my second banner piece, I'm going to use a larger framelit. So it's going to be um, like a frame, I guess, around the original one that I cut out. And I'm using a piece of early espresso. 
and it's just a scrap piece, so I'm going to die cut. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere these two together using my snail adhesive. Like so. Then I'm going to adhere the layer for the card base, the main layer, using my snail adhesive. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to the front of my card using some Stampin' Dimensionals. So this is my banner layer and it's just going to add a really nice, interesting dimension to the front of my card because my card is pretty much a clean and simple card not a lot of details or complications to it. You want to line it up so that it looks... just going to move it over a little bit. Like so. So it looks like we have the tree underneath and then we've got this beautiful tree layer on top for a nice and fun clean and simple card idea. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurement for the cardstock layers, hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, you can subscribe to my newsletters. I send a free newsletter each week with a completely exclusive idea. You won't see it anywhere else. You can find a Shop Now button on my blog so you can place an order for the products I used to make this card or just through, look through lots of other sample ideas. I try and post several new ideas each week. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.